What's going on, Doc and Fib? Welcome back to Oh the Hermanity. We have some amazing news that has dropped today. A lot of it has to do with Badok, but the Rising Dragon Carnival banner is back where you have double SSI rates, and we have some new items in the Baba Shop as well, which I don't know about you, I'm a little confused about. But we'll do the Baba Shop last. The first thing I want to do is talk about this new uh, story that just came out. Well, it's not really a new story, it's just been redone with new units, and that's a Lone Warrior's last battle. And then obviously Vegeta the Indomitable Warrior is back, so if you have Outburst of Emotions Vegeta, or if you want to farm the AGL Vegeta from this event, which I have actually done a showcase video on, make sure you check that out. I'll link to it in the end screens of this video. This is your opportunity to do that. All you get to do is collect them puddings, and you can get all the medals you need to dock and awaken your Outburst of Emotions Vegeta, which is on the Rising Dragon Carnival banner. Here he is right here. Uh, obviously, this is Tapion. This is your Giant Forms uh, lead unit. Uh, and there's also some Elder Kai's available with those puddings as well. So stay on top of that. First things first, let's go over to stories. So in honor of a lone warrior's last battle coming back and being redone, I am rocking my Badok Just Saying top. So if you want to pick one up, make sure you click the link down in my pinned comment. Just Saying makes the best gear. And I abs this is actually my favorite one. And I also have a Super Saiyan 3 version of it, but... That's just for me. No, I'm just kidding. You guys can have it too. <laughs> so let's take a look really quick at the event details, guys. So as you look at all the stages, you can get one Dragon Stone for clearing every stage. So there's 10 stages. That means there's 20 Dragon Stones. And there's also two Dragon Stones that you can get in completing missions. And we'll check out the missions after we go through this right here. Um, but some of the stages you want to pay the most attention to are going to be Stage 1. Because that's where you're going to collect all of the Awakening Medals for Badok as well as his entire crew. Because you can now TUR some of the other units that you may have had for a while now, like Shugesh and Tora and Borgos. And we'll, I'll actually show you guys those units once we're done going through this list. Um, you can finally farm uh, Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans. It's basically an Int Kid Vegeta unit, which you can already farm him now, but it took forever and his drop rate was terrible. I remember I was trying to actually farm this unit just because I'm a completionist. Honestly, guys, this unit is garbage, but... I think I did like 10 runs on his actual stage and he dropped once. So now you can get like three at a time, super easy. Same thing with the AGL Frieza. And then obviously on stage eight, we have the new AGL Badok or the redone AGL Badok that turns into a giant form unit. Now, the funny thing is about this event is that if you have the original um, SR unit that came from the original version of this event, it does dock in into this AGL unit, which is Fight Against the Spare Badok, which I think is kind of funny. I wouldn't waste the medals on doing that because it's easy enough to just get dupes of him as long as you boost the effect of your team, but if you want to do it, I guess it's up to you. I'm going to keep the original just, just, to, have a, just to have it because you'll never probably get it again. And then also we have um, this Tech Chilled, and here's that Prince Vegeta that we just talked about. Obviously, it, whenever you can get units here, it shows you their characters here and what they can do. But like I said, Frieza and Chilled and Vegeta Kid, they're just collectibles. The only one you're really going to want to focus on is this Badok unit because he can be Doc and Awakened. And if we scroll down, there he is right there. He turns into Intense Sane Impulse Badok, which is actually can be used as a category lead for the Giant Form team. A, uh, AGL type, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So it's not a bad unit to have. And then if we scroll down a bit, we can see the other units that I briefly mentioned. And we will go over in detail. Um, we got Tora, we have Borgos, and we have the almighty Lord Shugesh that can now be TUR'd. Then obviously if you have Tech Bardock or STR um, Fasha you can now collect those medals to TUR these units as well, which I've actually used Fasha quite a few times on my world tournament team, believe it or not, because as you can see, she changes int key spheres to STR key spheres, which for me, I run LR Rainbow, rainbowed LR Broly. Whenever he's on the board, I want to get as many uh, STR spheres into him as possible to launch his ultra super attack. So she actually came in pretty clutch for me in the world tournament a few times. So that's the end of uh, this right here. What I want to do really quick is go back. And I mean, I don't even need to scroll up right now, but I want to start with these units right here. So let me see. Let me switch over. 
First, we're gonna go over the, the Greedy Fighting Posture Shoegas Giant Ape. So this is actually the TUR form, which has now come to global, even though it's in Japanese up here. This is now available in global. Basically, the way that you TUR all of these units is really, really easy. Let me scroll up on the event real quick. All you have to do is collect 10 of the Badok medals, which you get on stage 10, and then 10 of the Awakening medals for that actual unit. So if you were to do stage one, uh, basically whenever I do stage one, I get a minimum of three of each of these medals at a time. So three Fashas, three Borgos, three Toras, and three Shugashas. As long as you get 10 of each of those units, all it takes is 10 of their own medals plus 10 of the Badok medals in order to awaken them. And just to be 100% clear on what I mean, let's go back to this Shugash really quick and then I'll scroll down and I'll go to his original form. Here we go. And if you guys look down here, this is what I mean. It takes 10 Shugash medals in order to dock and awaken him, and then it takes 10 of the Badok medals right here, and it goes the same for all of the units. But how much better do these units get when you TUR them? Well, let's start off with Shugash. So this is Shugash in his original form. And if we take a look at his leader skill, he gets HP and defense plus 60%. When he's Dock and Awakened, he gets int, keep, int Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%, so he does get a boost there. Uh, his Super Attack causes extreme damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense, and again, causes extreme damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. And this is where things really start to change. So his passive skill is plus 5,000 for all allies and may turn into a giant ape, which is still pretty good. Whenever it says may turn into a giant ape, it's a pretty good chance that they're going to. But he gets a huge boost to his passive skill. All allies attack and defense plus 7,000, plus an additional defense plus 2,000, per giant form category ally on the team up to 6,000 and then again may turn into a giant ape but now it's up to two times so here's a really good opportunity for you guys to boost your defense with this if you're running a giant form category team so shoe guess gets quite the quite the nice boost it might be worth rainbowing him just make sure you guys go to that community post that I did a couple days ago and hit that like button because I'm only doing it if it hits 500. So now let's take a look at Tora. This is him in his regular form, Explicit Tactics Tora, Giant Ape. Leader skill, AGL, and strength type, HP in attack, plus 30%. And then his leader skill changes to AGL and strength type, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers attack, which I don't think changes. Yep, causes extreme damage to enemy and lowers attack. And then again, guys, the passive skill. This is where we see things start to change. Um, in his UR form, key plus three for all allies when HP is 80% or below and may turn into giant ape. And then his passive skill, once he's TUR'd, is all allies key plus three and attack plus 30%. Also recovers 6% HP up to 18% per giant form category ally on the team at start of turn, and then chance to turn into a giant ape up to two times. So if you're having a hard time with your giant forms team because you take a lot of damage when you're not transformed, Tor is going to replenish that health every single time he comes on the board. That's a really nice boost. And I really like how it changes from may turn into a giant ape to now up to two times. Because if you can basically just keep having giant ape transformations, the team is unstoppable. It might take a really long time to win an event, but it would be fun to do. Um, and then lastly, guys, we're going to take a look at uh, Borgos, Cataclysmic Force, Giant Ape. His leader skill, Fizz type, HP and defense plus 60%, which changes to Fizz type, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. The super attack stays the same. However, we get a nice boost to his passive skill as well. Attack plus 7% for every key sphere obtained and may turn into a giant ape. However, once he's TUR'd, we get attack and defense plus 12% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 1% up to 3 her giant form category ally on the team and also a chance to turn into a giant ape up to two times. So basically, if you have Borgos on your team, you can use him as a nuke character. So if you want to deal a ton of damage, 
bo having Borgos on the board is going to give that opportunity to all your other giant form um, units that you're using. Well, I would assume giant form because why would you have him on any other team? He's kind of not that great unless on a giant form category team. And then here we go, guys. This is the unit from the actual event. This is Fight Against Destiny Badok. I'm sure you've all already taken a look at him. Uh, in his SR form, you know, he doesn't do much. Let's just take a look at him in his TUR form. He turns into Beating Intensity of a Saiyan Badok Giant Ape. So Giant Form Category, AGL Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. He causes supreme damage to enemy and raises attack for one turn. Then his passive skill, attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack plus 50% when facing two or more enemies, and may turn into a giant ape as well. So if you have all of these units, you definitely have some work to do to TUR them all, and then of course, awakening their hidden potential. So let's take a look at the missions as well, because we're here. So let's go to new... I've actually completed a lot of the missions already, but I've been waiting to make this video to collect them. So as you can see, basically from doing the event, just, just by running the event normally and clearing all the stages, you're going to get a lot of random items here, collect a lot of random medals. You can even get some of the AGL SR Bardock units, which doesn't really matter because you're going to get a ton of them just from the effect boost. And if we scroll down to the very bottom, there's one more where you can get from clearing 400 Frieza soldiers, and it's Dragon Dragonstone times two. So that's your 22 Dragonstones from clearing this event. And let's go into the event so you guys understand what I mean by type effect when you're clearing the stages. So we're not going to do an actual stage, but what I am going to do is show you the team that I use. Here we go. So if you can find a category leader of Tapion, definitely take a Tapion with you. And if you guys take a look at my team, it's all giant form units in their TUR forms. If they're not in their TUR forms, you're not going to max out the effect. And the max effect you can get is 175%. And I wish they would do this for all the story events where you have to grind out medals. Because this makes it a lot easier to collect a lot more medals at once. And now before we go to the Baba shop, let's take a quick look at the double rates banner. So if you click on the scouter, guys, this is where you get to see all the giant form units. Of course, the leader on this is AGL Tapion. And then the next one is going to be Raditz. And then we have Outburst of uh, Emotions Vegeta. Well, he's determined to fight back, but his TUR is Outburst of Emotions. This unit, guys, has an amazing counter. I mean, I rainbowed this unit as fast as I could when I got him. I actually pulled five of him in a row when the banner first came out. And he has been clutch on my Amano STR team ever since. And if we continue to go down right here, we have Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku that is also a giant form character. Uh, giant Ape Vegeta. Uh, we have a Youth Goku. We have Turles, which this unit rainbowed is really good too. And we have Borg Bergamo, who I don't use. Uh, and then we have Super Baby 2, who's actually on my team. You guys just saw that. And then they just kind of toss in a random Super Saiyan 2 Goku GT, which actually can be awakened into a Super Saiyan 3. So now let's go to the Baba shop. And in the Baba shop, the first thing you're going to see when you go to Featured is these new Vegitos that have been added. And I do not know why they added these Vegitos. It's, it seems really random to me that they would add these Vegitos here because we don't even have enough Pator medals to get a TUR of this unit. Maybe this is just, you know, telling us that there is more Pator medals coming so that we can TUR this unit. I don't know. Um, but there's only three in the shop. Obviously, we need a total of five in order to, to fully awaken him. For me, though, I used Elder Kai's when I awakened mine. I didn't take advantage of the other one that was in um, the Supreme Kai, Kai Stone shop. So I have a total of four available to me, so I could get one with three paths open for now. But it, it's, it's kind of useless, because if you can't TUR the unit, then what's the point? And if we go over to the puddings, as you guys can see here, this is where you get the medals. If you have Int Beerus, you can get medals for him. This is where you get the Outburst of Emotions Vegeta medals. And if you scroll down, we have some Elder Kai's available. Uh, one for 60 puddings and one for 80 puddings. And I want to end this video on this unit right here, guys. This is Badok, Father of Kakarot. This is L. I. Badok that's coming this weekend. And if you have some extra time and stamina, you might as well grind his medals out. Because you're going to have to do 
his story event that dropped today, as well as complete some more of that LR Frieza campaign, because you need quite a few Frieza medals as well. So let's just scroll down real quick and see what it takes to get him to the TUR form. And so it's going to take one Tor, one Shugesh, one Fasha, and one Borgos medal to TUR this unit. And then as soon as he is TUR, you're going to have to grind a bit more. So you're going to need 21 of the Awakening Medals from the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. Then you have to go back to the Bardock Story event and get three of the Frieza Awakening Medals, which is pretty easy to do. You'll probably get it on just doing one run. You get like three to five at a time. And then you're going to have to then go to the LR Frieza campaign and collect three of the Warriors Mach Medals from Frieza. And then you're going to have to get 35 of the Legends Mach medals. But as soon as you do, you awaken Bardock into Dazzling Life Force. And he's actually a pretty amazing LR unit. Uh, here's his skills right here, guys. Super Fizz type, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. And then he also has a boost for extreme as well. Key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. For his super attack, he greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy for his final spirit cannon. And then if you get 18 plus key, he does spirit of Saiyans and he causes mega colossal damage to enemy. And of course, he seals the super attack, which is norm a normal thing for Bardock to do. And his passive skill is pretty great as well. Attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack plus 30% when performing an ultra super attack. And then key plus 4 when facing only one enemy. And then defense plus 60% when facing two or more enemies. So it's a pretty amazing unit to have on your team. It's going to do really well on a super fizz or extreme fizz team. I hope that I pull him. <laughs> we definitely need stone vendors to come back because we have the Rising Carnival banner where you can pull all of the current LRs, and then he's going to have his own banner, obviously. So it's a toss-up. If you're limited on stones, if if it was for it was for me choosing with limited stones, I'd hit the Rising Dragon, the Rising Dragon Carnival banner because it's double double rates. But if you really want LR Bardock and you don't need anything else, then definitely go for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.